Welcome back. So this is the final stage. You're now sending an email to your mailing list. So first of all, uh, when you're logged into your MailChimp dashboard, uh, you can actually go straight into creating a campaign using the shortcut on the top right of the screen, um, and that's button create campaign. Uh, now they often change the layout in MailChimp, so um, just to future proof this video, um, you can also get to that through your campaigns area on the left hand side if you needed to in the future. Okay, so I'm going to click create campaign on the top right and that's now going to take me through the process. The first stage is um, mailing list, so it wants to know who to send it to. Now if you've only got one mailing list like I do at the moment, you will obviously select that list and you can segment that um, if you want to and if you have segments you could choose only a small portion of that list according to what you've segmented. I'm going to send it to my entire list because that's all we've done so far. And I need a name for my campaign. Now this is going to be an internal name that's only going to appear on my MailChimp account. So I'm going to call it, uh, let's just say, June Newsletter. The from name that appears on the email, um, I'm going to keep that as my name, but you may also want to use that as um, your company name. So that's basically going to be the name that appears in the people's inbox when they receive the email, and it's going to say who it's from. The email subject um, that's come up with the default here, but I might just change that actually. So I might just call this uh, June News article on X, Y, and Z. Okay. Now the reply to mailing address. I don't think I've verified this. So I'm just going to change it to one that I have verified. Um, if you need to verify it, you can just click um, verify this domain down here and it will send you an email just to verify that um, that email address actually exists. So this is essentially your reply to email address. So when someone receives your email and they hit reply, this is the email address it's going to go straight back to. So um, in terms of personalizing the to field down here, you can actually tick this and it allows you to use merge tags. Um, now a merge tag will essentially mean that it can insert a person's name when it sends the individual email, so it makes it nice and personalized. Um, so yeah, we could say something like, um, hello Sarah, hello Eleanor, whoever's on our mailing list, and it just means a nice personalized touch on those emails, even though it is one massive email that's going out. If you open up your tracking tag, you've got a few different options here. Um, you definitely want to keep the track opens um, on, on here, so make sure that's ticked. Basically, you'll have access to reports later on that will allow you to see who's actually opened your um, your email and who's actually not bothering about it and just leaving it in their inbox. So that can be quite useful. You also want to track your clicks um, and you need to keep both of these ticks in terms of your plain text emails and also your HTML emails. Now, uh, tracking your clicks actually means that you can look at your reports later on and see who's actually clicking on your links within your email and uh, actually going and having a look at what you put in your email. So if that's an article on your website, then that's really, really useful information to know. And you can also set up your Google Analytics in here as well if you wanted to. Um, now, I'm not going to show you how to do Google Analytics at the moment on these videos, but if you wanted to do that, uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there, and I'm sure you can look on the MailChimp website for that. Now, the social media tab. I'm going to untick um, posting to Facebook only because this is a test demonstration. I don't want this to go out to my Facebook page, but in real life situation, you probably would want to. So if you haven't already connected your Facebook account, you can do so by clicking on this button here and same with Twitter over here. So when you send out your email, you can automatically post an update that goes straight out to Facebook and Twitter to your followers and they can have a look at what you're sending out on your newsletter. Under more options, you want to keep Authenticate Campaign on. Um, that's going to help um, the email servers understand that this is actually real email and it's not junk mail. So you're, you're going to avoid getting put into people's junk mail folders by keeping that uh, ticked. And then if you're sending out videos, you may want to, to tick the Auto Convert Video button here. So I'm going to click on Next. And now you need to pick a template. So we've already created a template and we can select that from all of the ones that we've got saved already. If you wanted to start the process again and choose something a little bit different, you can go into the pre-designed area or you could create something completely new again from the basic area. I'm actually going to use one of my templates. I'm selecting my templates and going into my monthly client newsletter template, which I created before. And here it is, my template. 
it's pretty awful colouring, I must admit. It was done very quickly, so in real life, of course, I would never use this. First of all, we need to change the text on our teaser area. Now, this is basically leading into your newsletter, and this is the snippet that people will see in their email inbox when they receive your email. So, you might want to put some nice text on there to really lead them in. So, you know, um, check out this month's article on X to learn all about why. Something along those lines. So, something that excites them and draws them in to actually read your content. I'm going to click save now. And then I'm going to go into my content block, which is just this one here. And I'm actually going to click edit. And I can actually amend this content here. So I'm just going to put a few different lines of text in here. So I can put in my merge tag. So I can say hi. And you see there's a merge tag drop down here. I can select from this drop down and I can put in whatever I wanted to merge with. So I'm going to put first name in here. And I'm going to take off all of this styling here using this clear style button. So that's going to return everything to default because it's actually doing the heading one styling at the moment. And then I can do some test dummy information here. So a few lines of content. Obviously you'll copy and paste from your Word article. Um, Word document or you might type straight into here or you might have a blog post so you obviously be doing something quite different to this and then you might sign off because Kerry. Now a couple of other things I'll show you quickly just in case you do want to do them. Uh, you may want to add some bullets in here so using your toolbar options at the top you could highlight a few different lines and you could add those as bullets if you wanted to. If you wanted to add a link it's as simple as highlighting the text that you want to create a link over and then you would go up to this little link button which looks like a chain at the top here and just adding in a web address there. So let's just say I want to do a link to Google. There we go, I'm going to insert a link to Google there and that now comes up as link text. There are a few other options which, which is worth checking out here if you wanted to, for instance, um, add an image you would use this, this, um, this little button here. You can also change the uh, the centering and the styling. It's all very similar to Microsoft Word. I'm sure you're very similar with that. So I'm not going to insult your intelligence by going through everything here. Um, but there's plenty of options for you to play around with in terms of your styling. And I'm going to click Save now to save that box. So there we go. That's all in there now. Okay. So that is creating your email template. And here we go, we can also add in new content blocks here as well. So I've just literally uh, clicked on the plus button to add in some new content blocks. So you can also do that as well if you wanted to. I might just actually remove that. I'm just showing you what's possible here. I could actually remove this as well. If you wanted to add in some new content blocks, it's as simple as clicking that plus button there. Okay, so I'm going to click on next. And here is my plain text version. So basically this is what people will see if they only receive plain text emails. Um, so, so of course you, you do have to just check that. You might need to copy the text over from the HTML TML email if it didn't update itself properly. Looks like that one has. So I'm going to click next here. Okay, so just a final check before we send. It's going to take us through all the options that we've, we've programmed in. So we're sending to this particular list, that's fine. We've got that subject line, we've got all the replies, we've got the tracking checked, uh, we've got the HTML email and the plain text email sorted, and the email authentication's on. Okay, so you can either schedule or you can send it now. Um, I am actually, and there's another option here just at the top, preview and test. So if you wanted to test this before it actually went out, just to see what it looks like, you can send a test email just here. So just this drop down menu up here, preview and test, send a test email. So I'm going to send a quick test to myself just to make sure that that works as I want it to. Okay, so that's just gone out now. And once you receive that te uh, test, you can have a look at it, make sure everything is okay. And then you can either send it right now to all of your list or you can schedule it. So if you want to schedule it, I'm just going to show you through those options here. I can select a date, 
and I can also select the time and then I'm going to send it in my time zone and then just schedule my campaign. So that's all done. If I go to the campaigns dashboard, I can see that that's scheduled there. It's got a little timer next to it and it's scheduled ready to go to one, to one person, which is me. So I hope that's been helpful, um, creating your email newsletter. Please do let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other feedback. My email address is mail at kerrywilliams.net. Thank you.